we uh, we're going to take the win for what it was tonight, and that was a good effort on our part and a, a great start that gave us uh, control of the game. Uh, the extension of Gordon became official. Uh, just your thoughts on what he's contributed here in your time here and having him for another two years. Well, I think you know everybody knows that Sean will, will come to play every night, play hard, and, and go to his team's defense. And uh, you know, again, he's a good team player. He's in that room. He, he works hard every day, and uh, you know he's got a lot of qualities. And uh, uh, I think he, he's got some good leadership qualities in him. That uh, when game, it's time to get ready for a game. He's he's making sure that he's ready. He's making sure people around him are ready. And uh, like I said, he's he's got a job that's not an easy job. And anybody who's been who's played the sport, who's who's watched the sport close enough, knows how tough it is to to go to and do the job that he does every night and that's you know whenever we get pushed around or we're we're behind and we need a wake-up call and uh, all of a sudden he goes and he takes charge he's never told to do it he just does it on his own he knows his role extremely well and uh, uh, for him to be rewarded with a new contract is is worthy of, of his work and uh, you know I'm, I'm glad to see that he's here for a couple more years at least and uh, the one thing I like about guys that that do that job is that they can also play and that's important in my book. I've always told Peter that I don't want a guy that they just throw out there and uh, can't play. And that's what's going on even with a McDermott and then Providence. We want him to be able to, to play and uh, and uh, do more than just a single role. Coach, d difficult decision to keep Timmy out there even though you're trying to get him a shutout? Well, with the number of shots he had, uh, it, uh, I don't think it was a real tough night for him. And, uh, you know, I think a shutout's also important for him uh, as well. So, uh, you know, if I thought he was getting tired or, or he was getting overworked, I would have certainly pulled him out. Anything else? Coach, your 400th game with the coach of the Bruins. Any thoughts? I didn't until somebody mentioned it to me this morning. I really didn't know. And, uh, and they mentioned it to me this morning after the uh, press conference, and I had no idea. I don't keep track of that stuff. But uh, one thing I'll tell you is if you're going to coach 400, Games uh, to get that kind of win, I'll take any night. <laughs> Anything else? I assume you, you have a career, your career winning percentage here is like 62%. Is that more important to you, I assume? No, it, to be real honest with you, t to me, what's important is really the, the team stats. And, uh, you know, if that's a reflection maybe of, of my coaching, but I'd, I'd like more of, about what the team has uh, accomplished. And, you know, we're heading into a fifth season here. and. and my hope is that we're in the playoffs, and uh, that would mean that every year we've made the playoffs. And uh, I'd rather look at the team accomplishments and what we do here for the city. And uh, winning the Stanley Cup, obviously, last year was a was an unbelievable feeling. But that that's what I'm here for. I'm here to try and get the ultimate goal every year. And that uh, that personal stuff, I think, is is something that you look at more once you're done your career and you look back and say, "Wow, you know, I didn't realize that." Uh, you know, I had accomplished that much or had that kind of a winning percentage. But right now, I, I really don't have time to spend on that stuff. And uh, these guys here are the ones that remind me about it because uh, I certainly don't follow it. So uh, was it an easy decision to, to do this? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, it, it, everyone knows when the first offer was made. I guess it was in the media. So it took a little bit of time. Uh, but I, I've always said that I want to stay here in Boston. It's home now. Uh, it, and, very, very, very happy to, to get this done and be around for a couple more years. What about Boston made it uh, made an easy choice? Well, obviously my team first. Uh, the guys are a great bunch of guys, and uh, it's a team that uh, it's built with a lot of youth, uh, myself excluded, obviously. But uh, I think they have a, uh, a bright future here going forward, and uh, I like being in an you know, environment like this. Um, I, I think I've said it a million times how great the city's been to me and the people here. So that uh, fans, it's. it's uh, that's the easy part. They're, they're ama amazing to me all the time. Timmy, was there any point in the game where uh, you were thinking that uh, it might be good to rest? Oh no, <laughs> I, I did. I was getting rest out there, wasn't I? <laughs> How hard is a game like that, though, when you have to wait and wait and wait for that first shot? Yeah, it's more of a mental mental battle. Well, it got easier once we got up two to nothing because you know even if that even if you're feeling uncomfortable and. And, then, and I happened to get another goal. At least we got a two pad cushion or two goal cushion at the time. Um, but those games are, you know, those games are uh, more difficult mental, mentally. Um, it, the best thing to do is not think. Just 
try to stay into the game and <clears throat> it's not always easy to do but I felt I felt good that way tonight. I never really lost the rhythm. The team never really lost the rhythm and got scrambly at any point. So that, that helped. Is it especially good for you to, to get one of these games where just if you've played so many in a row that uh, it's a bit of a lighter workload? Sure. I'm not even think of it from that way. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, because no matter uh, whether I have to do a lot of work or a little work, I, I got to be ready for, for whatever. So I, I'm, I wasn't even thinking about the workload, issue, workload side. I was just that, you know, I started to feel good, uh, feel better against Philadelphia, and I think you could see it in my play. And, I, and I, I felt good in practice this morning. I just wanted to carry it over no matter what uh, kind of shots I had. So um, with the way the team played tonight in front of me, um, and, you know, get, being able to get out of it with, with zero, <coughs> hopefully that uh, uh, will help me continue um, moving forward. Not bad, huh? <laughs> uh, it's good. You know, yeah. uh, you need to win, and uh, doing it that kind of way is uh, it's pretty nice. Feels we'll get back to conference where we got in here, and uh, just got to carry down the road to the next one. Yeah, it seemed like it was pretty important to put the same kind of effort into this game as you had against Philadelphia. Yeah, you know, Toronto's trying to find a spot in the playoffs, and uh, we didn't want them to. Uh, you know, come in here and uh, try to bully us or, uh, you know, play hard and stuff. And we just all played them the, the whole game and uh, came out with a big win. It just seemed the chemistry on your line was pretty, pretty right on, spot on tonight. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know, we kind of seem like we're finding each other pretty well. Uh, the offensive zone, you know, we got Roly uh, supporting great and then, you know, kills doing the same thing. So it's uh, just a matter of finding the, the guys on your line. And, connecting and uh, talking a lot and to, uh, to older guys it's fun to play with and uh, they talk a lot so I just try to do what I'm supposed to do. It seemed like they were looking for you for the third one. <laughs> yeah I think they, they told me after the second one there the, the whole, uh, the whole uh, end of the second and the third they're like we'll try to find them. Hey you know what if, uh, if they got a score goal they got to score a goal so uh, no it's always nice to you know hear things like that for the guys. How close were you to it? Well, I had a chance there, and uh, Kells, that uh, backdoor pass, kind of flopped it there uh, right beside the net, but um, you know what? it doesn't matter. We won the game, so it's, uh, it's nice. I think, obviously, that's that's one of our strengths as a team is you know, how deep we are and how uh, you know everyone on uh, any given night can, can contribute, and you know, it was nice tonight to, to see uh, you know, Rolly and Benny uh, do well. Are you guys kind of building some chemistry and building some, uh, you know, appreciation of each other? Well, I think so. I think we're getting a little bit more familiar with one another, and um, you know, we're we're not the, the flashiest of players. Uh, I don't think we've ever been mistaken for that, but I think we we use one another well. We come up the ice together well and uh, and support one another. Uh, well. When you see Brian starting to come around as far as you know, he was in at the lineup and all that, once he wasn't playing, like you see him like kind of shaking the rust off type thing. Um, well, I've always been a been a fan of. Uh, but uh, Roy, I remember him in uh, in mini. He uh, he dunked my shin pad with uh, with one of his shots, and uh, you know he can shoot the puck and, and he skates well, and you know he plays the game well. Um, he, he, uh, he's good in his own end. He he holds on to the puck in the offensive uh, zone. You no know, high risk plays. And, you know, I really enjoy playing with. Him. Continue to try to get better and, and you know, work on things that uh, we can do better. Uh, can I ask you a non-hockey question? Yeah. So Z, what did you do for your birthday yesterday? Uh, you know, spend the whole day with my family, um, uh, play with my daughter, uh, and then it was a really nice day. I finished the day with a nice dinner with my wife, uh, and went home and got a nice uh, night's sleep. What's it like out there as the group, the team? It appears, at least in the final score, everything is going right. It doesn't happen too often, even when the team is playing great hockey overall, but it seems to me everything went right. Maybe there's something wrong in this. Um, you know, um, there's been games where everything's gone wrong, I guess, on the flip side of that. So we have to ride the wave. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we've been uh, fortunate to, to score some goals against the Leafs this year. Um, and there's been, there were times in the, the month of November and December where goals were coming easily too. But uh, regardless of that, um, 
what we have to be proud about and what we have to move forward um, taking pride in is the fact that we didn't give up any goals. And, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, we could put, I don't know how many shots we have, we can put 30, 40 shots on net and, and not have any goals. So tonight they went in for us, but, uh, um, you know, realistically, playoff hockey is about uh, being solid defensively. Yeah. Wraparound is kind of a low percentage uh, opportunity for a shot. Nice to have one go in for you tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's ironic, actually, because after the pregame skate, uh, our goalie coach, Bob Asenza, took me aside and had me do wraparounds with uh, Marty Turco there. And, uh, but uh, I guess in that instance, the puck was kind of lost in the back of the net, and, and Lyles and the goalie uh, misplaced it, and I was able to pick it up and, and um, stuff it in there on, on the far side. He's, he's a guy who's, you know, who's definitely going to you know, compete and, and you know, he's just you know, trying to show some emotion and, and in a time like that, obviously, you know, you don't ever like to be on, on the other end of things and, and you know, whatever happened, happened there and, and uh, fortunately for me, I came out on top. <laughs>